What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my crypto journey. My name is Rodney. Do me a favor, clickety-clack that like button, push us up in the old algorithm. And today we're going to be talking about some huge news involving Apple Pay and Kronos or Crypto.com. Now, I made a video yesterday. I got some of the facts wrong. So this is a redo on that video. So Kronos or Crypto.com is up 0.47% today. The market's been trading kind of sideways. And as a result, Crypto.com has been trading sideways as well. Now, here's the thing. I've been dollar cost averaging into my favorite projects, even though even though I am predicting the market to pull back some more. I think we're going to have some bloody days ahead, but I don't know for sure. No one knows for sure. So the best thing you can do is dollar cost average. And if you're bullish on the future of cryptocurrency, you're bullish on big projects like Crypto.com or Kronos eventually surpassing their all-time high. And wouldn't you like to get it at 12 cents compared to like a dollar or something like that, right? So let's go ahead and check out the post on the official Crypto.com Twitter. And this says Apple Pay is now available in Crypto.com app. So you can use Apple Pay to buy crypto. And I don't know about you guys, but I use Apple Pay for a lot of different things. It makes buying on random websites so much more convenient. Like you have your, and of course you need an iPhone, right? Obviously, you know, if you're going to like a random website or something like that, or you're buying something from, you know, I have to buy different supplements. And so all you have to do is like tap twice. And then like whatever debit card you have uh, registered with your Apple account, it'll just put in your address and everything. And it's like super easy and seamless. So I love Apple pay. And this is a good move for crypto.com. Now I found this article by investor uh, place about the actual topic. So it says you can now buy crypto uh, with Apple pay on crypto.com. So Crypto.com has teamed up with Apple to make investing easier. The crypto trading and news platform has announced it is allowing users to buy crypto with Apple Pay. It already allows for purchase using credit and debit cards. Now investors with iPhones will be able to invest in crypto through an even quicker process. While Coinbase allows Apple Pay transactions, plenty of other crypto exchanges do not. However, this news from Crypto.com may signal a new trend. And I think a lot of different crypto trading platforms do do want this feature because anything that makes buying crypto easier is a good thing. Yes, you can buy crypto with Apple Pay. In a blog post this morning, Crypto.com confirmed its new policy. It emphasized the importance of Apple Pay allowing users to purchase crypto quickly and securely. Very, very key right there, right? Quickly and securely. It noted, though, the Apple Pay investments will be subject to the same trading limits and transactional fees that apply to credit and debit cards. Specifically, that means a 2.99% processing fee. So you are going to get the same processing fee, which we assumed, right? But even so, the platform clearly sees this as a significant step forward, right? Absolutely. So it says Apple Pay allows you to make in-app purchases seamless and securely from the crypto.com iOS app on iPhone. To use this feature, users must first add their credit debit card to their Apple wallet on the iPhone. And uh, those of us who have an iPhone, I mean, we know how to do this, right? After adding their bank card to Apple wallet, users will be able to use Apple Pay as a quick and secure way to make crypto purchases in the crypto.com app. So this is a policy clearly meant to appeal to new investors who see purchasing crypto as a complicated process because a lot of people just don't know how to get into it. But if you can say, hey, just use Apple Pay, a lot of people will be more apt to do that, right? So Cointelegraph reports that more Americans have been more inclined to invest uh, in it using credit cards though. So I mean... That's not new news, right? By this logic, even more aspiring investors will start investing in crypto by using Apple Pay. According to Fortunely, Apple Pay has a significant market share in the US, accounting for 92% of its mobile uh, debit wallet market in 2020. And that's huge. So what comes next for Crypto.com? Crypto.com's push to draw new investors comes at an appropriate time. A defining market trend has been the crypto crash spurred by rate hike induced sell-offs, right? And we're seeing a lot of sell-offs, right? Some investors have been jolted by the realization that crypto is not a hedge against inflation they expected it to be. And that was crypto's appeal before. It's like, yeah, just put your money in crypto while the dollar, you know, loses its value. But if you were to keep all your money in cash, say if, say if you've been DCAing into crypto since uh, the all-time high, you would have way more money if you'd have just kept it in cash, but no one can tell the future. And that's why we continue to dollar cost average. And that's the safest way to invest really, right? But even as prices continue to fall, some experts maintain that the tides will shift coming months. So it says, investors uh, place Luke's Lango predicts the current crypto bus cycle will end by late 2022. So close to Q1, right? Ultimately signaling a market turnaround. He speculates that it may prove genius to buy the crypto crash dip. That's what we've been doing. We always buy the dip. If that is true, new investors will be drawn to crypto and 
investing while prices are still down. And they may be quite happy to have the ability to buy crypto with Apple Pay. Investors should watch carefully to see if more exchanges follow crypto.com's example. And I'm sure they will. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you use Apple Pay? I use it all the time. It's super convenient. And if you don't have an iPhone, why are you why do you have an Android? Android suck. What you like having a four megapixel camera? Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.